tonight for a panty thief who broke into a woman's South Austin home while she was asleep. The suspect ditched all of his belongings in this South Austin neighborhood. KXAN's Leslie Rangel spoke with neighbors who say they're worried this person has not been caught. About 50 pairs of women's panties, all different styles, all different sizes. Part of a next door message neighbors near the 1600 block of Chippy Way Lane in South Austin woke up to early Saturday morning. I was setting up for a garage sale and I thought I heard somebody screaming. Rietta McKnight saw police cars and it was clear something was wrong. She found him going through her stuff. Court documents say the suspect, Michael Wiley Jr., went into a woman's home 815 Saturday morning, left his SUV parked outside. He went inside, rummaging through her clothes. He left a BB gun and flashlight inside her home and an open condom outside her porch. A shock for neighbors. Typically quiet, family friendly. We've got people walking dogs. So I come out here, you know, here with her on a daily basis. We take walks and I've always felt very safe. According to court documents, police found a large amount of women's underwear inside the suspect's car, along with porn and sex toys. At this point, we're not sure if there are more victims. So it's, it is scary to think about things that things are happening. Police found the SUV was registered to Wiley and found his ID inside. If there's somebody like this running around, definitely need to be a warning to women and men, to everybody in the neighborhood so that they can be in the lookout for somebody like that. That was Leslie Rangel reporting property. The property crimes unit is investing, investigating this case. Uh, is the last we've heard. Police did release this mugshot, hoping you may recognize Wiley. If caught, Wiley faces a charge of burglary of a habitation. That's a second degree felony, punishable by two to 20 years in prison and a fine up to $10,000. We checked and learned he has a couple of other charges on his record, an arrest for evading arrest in 2014, for which he has an upcoming court date and one for driving while his license was suspended back in 1999. We checked in on the progress.